Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are not new, then welcome back for another video. So for this video, this is going to be a little bit different for me. Definitely an OG, oldie, but a goodie video from back in the Dizay that I'm bringing back. Okay, girl. This is going to be a what in my bag video. I'm actually really um, looking forward to this video because... I'm like such a pig when it comes to my purse and this purse needs Jesus. I was looking at this purse earlier and I was just like, dear lord. This thing weighs at least 30 pounds right now. At least 30 pounds. Like, I can't even close it, you guys. Like, the thing is like struggling for dear life to stay closed. It's just like a hot ass mess. Like, when I go to places and I have to pull out my wallet to pay, like, girl, it's embarrassing. Because the amount of things that just flies out of my purse while I'm in the process of trying to get my wallet. It's just a, it's just a damn disgrace, okay? So I really need to clean out this purse and I figured instead of just doing that in my own solitude, why don't I just turn on the camera and show you guys what I'm pulling out of my purse? I think it's really fun to see what people have in their purses. I'm very nosy and I mean, I know a lot of you guys are too. So hey, it is all good. I'm just going to run you guys through all the crap that's in my purse. Also, I have some really cool announcements as well that I want to tell you guys in this video. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably announce it at the end or maybe in the middle of the video I'm not really sure to be completely honest this may be a long video because I got a lot of stuff in this purse anyways grab a snack grab a little drink um grab some munchies and let's just go ahead and get into this what's in my bag because girl you ain't ready I want to actually show you guys as I'm pulling stuff out but my little table right here is just a little bit too short and if I was to level the camera with the table you guys would be like at my like boob level and um not a pretty sight so I'm gonna actually prop up. Y'all, my setup is hella ghetto. You know what, it is okay, honey. I'm a little ghetto fabulous and it is okay. I wouldn't have it any other way, okay? My little step stool. And on top of that, I'm actually gonna put up my bag. And hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm pulling out of it. So let me show you guys what kind of bag I have. Honestly, it is not a fancy bag at all. Personally, I do have some nice bags, but I don't even use them on an everyday basis. Actually, the bag that I do wear on an everyday basis is actually a good old, um, TJ Maxx bag. I don't even know what kind of brand this is. Let me see if it says on the inside. It says Anne Klein. So it's an Anne Klein crossbody black bag. Very basic. Honestly, I maybe paid like 30, 40 bucks for it at TJ Maxx and it's been riding with me for a while. I need something simple. I need something easy. I need something affordable. I do not know how to take care of bags. I am so damn messy when it comes to my purse. And honestly, I'm just a disgrace. Okay, I'm just a human disgrace when it comes to purses. I don't know how to take care of them. My everyday purse has to be something that I can use and abuse. Especially if you got kids and you got a man. Because they be throwing everything in your purse. And that's just the bottom line. Thumbs up if you are the same way. So I don't even know where I want to start. There's a lot of trash in here. And I have a bag over here. So I'm probably just going to start throwing all the little trash things that I find in the trash. Okay, I guess I'll start with the outer pocket before I even go inside since it really needs to be cleaned out. I mean, there's like a lot of in here. I have this Winter Candy Apple Bath and Body Works lotion. I actually got this around Christmas time. Definitely like my little travel like on the go little lotion. I always like to have a lotion in my purse. That's really important, especially because you never know when you're going to be around people who are just funky. You never know when you're going to be smelling funky. You just gotta be prepared, okay? Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And then I have, I have, oh geez, what is this? A pen that definitely just gave up on me, so you're gonna have to go in the trash. Okay, receipt number one. What is this? Some tickets for a boxing fight. My boyfriend's actually a boxer, and he had his boxing matches back in February, and I still have the ticket for him. I'm the kind of person that likes to hold on to things for sentimental value. Like, he won these fights, and I wanted to keep the tickets because I wanted to like put them in a scrapbook. I'm the kind of person that keeps things like this in hopes that I'll scrapbook them one day, but never actually does. I don't. I really have it in my heart to scrapbook it and like put it in an album somewhere, but it just never actually makes its way to the album. So next I have this little launch arcade uh, play pass. We were actually at the trampoline park this past weekend, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't even know if it has any points on it, but it's probably going to go in the trash, to be honest. And I have another receipt. Oh, actually, what's this? Gum wrappers, gum wrappers, more gum wrappers. Ooh, a charging port, a bobby pin. Ooh, that's probably another one that I'm going to find, like, a ton of bobby pins. Wrapper. I have some melted Hershey's. You guys like Hershey's? You guys want some? 
No? Okay. All right. Then I have Aqua. Oh, I was looking for this. Actually, we're going to have to keep count of how many lip products I have in here because I know I have about 7,000. Because I have the habit of if I'm wearing a lipstick, I put that same lipstick in my purse and I carry it with me throughout the day and I never actually take it out. Then I have this other lipstick. This looks like ColourPop. This is an ultra glossy lip. I have another gum wrapper. And then I have a little piece of sunglass. Where the rest of it is, I guess we'll never know. All right, I think that's it for the outer pocket. That is pretty much it. Oh, and I got some lint. Great. Yeah, that's it for the outer pocket. So there's nothing else in here. I like this purse because it's not super duper tiny. However, it's not Jibungus either. Guys, I cannot have giant purses because if I have giant purses, then things will literally dig a hole in my shoulder because I will manage to make it so heavy with all the crap that it will accumulate that I've just given up on that and I only like to have crossbody bags now and I like to have like small to medium sized ones. And to me, this is just the perfect size. All right, so opening up the... Um, inside i have here this winter candy apple perfume it's also from bath and body works like i told you you gotta prepare in case the funk ever comes around you hit the funk with it one time like get away from me funk and also if you're funky you could do one of these keep pushing have a nice day nobody will need to know you were funky okay we got lip product number three Oh, okay, and then I have this Happy Meal toy that my daughter never cared about. That's fine. She just decided to just throw it in my purse. Totally cool. Another lotion, actually, because one lotion is not enough. I have this The Body Shop Mango Whipped Lotion. This actually smells really, really good, and it's like the mini one. Then I have this corn in case I ever get hungry. Again, one of my daughter's things. I guess she wanted to take it to go with her, and by taking it to go with her, she meant taking it to go with me in my purse. You gotta love the kids. Then I have my wallet right here. Okay, it's just a ton of change in there. More receipts. Honestly, I have more receipts than I know what to do with. And guess what? None of them are for anything good. They're all for grocery shopping because that's all I spend my money on. Do you guys ever have those moments where it's like if your cards could talk to you, my bank account would definitely be like, bitch, you need to stop eating. I have another receipt. Oh, okay, this is interesting. And actually, I gotta give a shout out to this. This is the Campho Fanique cold sore treatment if you suffer from cold sore get yourself some of this because this actually zaps your cold sores very very fast the receipt and what is this actually oh i'm keeping this oh i actually remember where this is from this is actually a chili's bring the coupon in and get a free kids meal on us we were at chili's for lunch a few weeks ago and the manager was randomly going around giving some of these and I'm actually gonna hold on to this. I have another lip product here. Actually, I was looking for this. Here are this Wet n Wild gel lip liner in the shade Bear to Comment. I actually really love this lip liner. If you're looking for a good lip liner from the drugstore, hit up Wet n Wild because this is actually a really good one. It's really, really creamy too. And then I have this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in their old packaging in the shade Ultimate Red. Wow, okay, this is embarrassing. I have a pad here and it's basically destroyed. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Okay, like guys, look at this. Like, I don't think you guys realize, like, I'm not actually gonna wear that, okay? Oh, I have this little thing here. I actually keep little coupons in here. I don't know about you guys, but I've really been trying to like start learning how to coupon. Um, I need to get better at it because I'm really not that great at it, but um, in this little thing, I would put a ton of coupons, but, I mean, these are all extremely expired. Let me see. Yeah, 9-30-2018. So, yeah, they're a little expired. Another receipt, another receipt, another receipt, you guys. <sighs> Shocking. A Blistex Tap Stick. This is the one that I usually use on my daughter. This is in the Orange Mango Blast flavor. Actually, really good. It actually tastes good, too. I've tried it, believe me. Okay, and... <gasps> more lip products shocking i have here the maybelline pink for me little lipstick i'm actually putting them all to the corner and then after we're gonna count yeah i have a lot i have this lipstick here i have no idea what brand it is no clue at all i thought this was a lip product too but it's actually not this is a little roller bomb perfume this is the victoria's secret bombshell again when in doubt i was gonna say when in doubt funk it out no don't say that when in doubt defunk it out defunk you get it you're taking the funk away with the perfume do you guys get that 
Is it funny? It's funny, right? No, it's not funny. I'm just really keen on not smelling funky. You just never know who you're gonna run into. You just gotta make sure you're always smelling right, okay, ladies? Then I have this other little book here, also full of coupons and other random little things that I probably let expire. Yeah, definitely let expire. $5 off Dunkin' Donuts for Halloween. I don't know. You tell me. I have more feminine products. I have two tampons here. You never know. You never know when good old Aunt Flo is going to pop in and ruin your life. I have a hair tie. Oh, I have my little portable charger that's probably dead because I actually thought I lost this and I don't remember the last time I charged it. But I found it. Isn't it great how you find things when you are literally not interested anymore? I have here two other lip products. This is Dose of Colors in Seriously and Dose of Colors in Truffle. Oh, and I have some gum, which I will keep. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all that I have in my purse. So basically a whole lot of crap. That's all the stuff that I have in my purse. As you guys can tell right here, I've emptied this son of a bee out. It was just full of crap. Honestly, um, there was nothing interesting in here. Probably the most uninteresting what's in my bag you've ever seen in your life. And I'm honestly very happy that I was able to bring you this very boring and useless content. It makes me happy. Hopefully you guys are better than me and don't have this much of a mess in your purses. All right guys, so now to round her up, let's go ahead and count how many lip products I had in this purse after all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't even hold anymore. Nine, 10, 11. 11 lip products, guys. Um, That's not excessive at all, at all. So what have we learned and then what's in my purse? You're hungry, put a little snack in your purse, okay? We don't like to be funky around here, so always make sure that you're carrying your perfumes, your lotions, Hell, put a little deodorant in there. Listen, you just gotta make sure that you're not smelling funky, okay? And you never know if somebody's smelling funky and is in need of you to help them. And you can just whip out some of your defunkers and just be like, here you go, sis. You're welcome, you know what I mean? Guys, that is it for this video. Um, it was a pretty uninteresting video, but if anything, I hope that it inspired you guys to clean your purses out. Be better than me, I hope you learned from my mistakes. And yeah, you guys, I'm excited to finally have a clean purse for a week because we know by the end of this week, it's gonna look hot mess again. Alright you guys, so for the announcements, I wanted to let you guys know that effective today, April 12th, I'm going to be turning this channel into a beauty and fashion channel cohesively, both of them one and the same. So my videos will be uploaded every Monday and every Friday. I'm still trying to figure out the time. Bear with me on that as far as the actual days of the videos. I'm going to try my hardest to stay very strict and very on time with my Monday and Friday uploads. Also in conjunction with that, the other announcement is that effective today, my videos will all be fashion and beauty related even though this is a very makeup niche specific channel something that really goes hand in hand with makeup and beauty is fashion and that's something that really resonates with me um, if you don't follow me on Instagram I really try to always make sure I'm showing you guys OOTDs and giving you guys outfit inspo over there that's a huge part of my passion and the things that I love and I realized that I don't really incorporate a whole lot of that here on YouTube and I want to change that I really hope that you guys receive it well and yeah today's video was kind of like a kickoff to that because I do feel like purses and stuff like this is definitely fashion related even though this wasn't like that fashion fashion obviously this is kind of just like a little bit of a kickoff to what we're about to start doing with the whole Friday's fashion videos and makeup Monday videos and things of that nature so hopefully you guys don't get confused hopefully I explained that well um, let me know if you guys have any questions any comments any feedback down below I would love to know what you guys think if you made it to the end of this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what kind of mess you got in your purse cuz girl I gotta know I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you got a kick out of it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see all of you in my next video on Monday. Bye.